Hello little explorers. My name is Chelsea, and today, we'll take you on a fascinating journey through our solar system. But before we start, let's take a look at those sparkling stars in the night sky. And there, do you see the moon? It's our closest neighbor in space. Did you know that the moon is like a piece of earth in the sky? It's made of rocks and dust, just like our planet. That's why some people call it our celestial cousin. But why does the moon shine so brightly at night? Well, it's like a giant mirror that reflects the sun's light back to us. So, when the sun goes to sleep and it's nighttime on Earth, the moon says, I'll light up the night for you. That's why we can see it shining up there. Now, let's talk about the biggest superstar in our solar system, the sun. Imagine the sun as a gigantic cosmic campfire, but instead of wood, it's burning with a blazing dance of hot gases. Sun isn't just a big light bulb. It's like a cosmic powerhouse that gives us warmth and energy. Thanks to the sun, we have daytime, and it's the reason plants can grow, and we can enjoy sunny days at the beach. And now, let's get to know all the planets in our solar system. They each travel around the sun in their paths called orbits. Think of orbits like the tracks they follow in the sky. Some are closer to the sun, and others are farther away. We'll introduce them all one by one starting with the ones closest to our amazing star. Meet Mercury, the smallest and the closest planet to the Sun in our solar system. It's so close to the Sun that it gets super hot during the day and freezing cold at night. It's like a planet of extreme temperatures. And now, meet Venus, our fiery twin. It's the second planet from the Sun and often called Earth's sister planet because they are similar in size. But here's the twist, Venus is scorching hot. It's the hottest planet in our solar system due to a thick blanket of clouds that traps heat, making it even hotter than Mercury, despite being farther from the Sun. Now, let's talk about our home sweet home, Earth. It's the third planet from the Sun and, guess what? It's often called the blue planet because when you look at it from space, it's mostly covered in beautiful blue oceans. What makes Earth extra special is that it's the only planet we know of that has life. From towering mountains to deep oceans, our planet is a diverse and wonderful place where millions of species, including humans, call home. Next stop, Mars, often called the Red Planet. It's the fourth planet from the Sun and gets its nickname from its rusty red appearance. Imagine a world covered in red deserts and rocky terrain. And do you know why it's so red? Well, Mars gets its reddish color from the iron-rich minerals on its surface. When these minerals interact with the thin atmosphere of Mars, they create a rusty red appearance. So, that's why we call it the Red Planet. Now, let's meet Jupiter, the mighty giant of our solar system. It's the largest planet, and if we could hop inside a spaceship and visit, we'd see it as beautiful stripes of colorful clouds. Jupiter is like a protector for our family of planets. Its massive size helps shield us from some space debris and comets, keeping us safe. But don't get too close, those colorful clouds hide storms that could swallow Earth whole. Now, get ready to be amazed by Saturn, the ringed wonder. It's the planet that wears the most beautiful set of rings in our solar system. Those rings are made of tiny particles of ice and rock, 
and they sparkle like a cosmic jewel. And here's a fascinating fact about Saturn. It's not just famous for its rings, but it also has the second largest moon in our solar system, called Titan. Titan is so unique, because it's the only moon with a thick atmosphere. Imagine flying through a moon sky. Now, let's take a journey to Uranus. Uranus is a giant ball of gas and ice, and it's known for its beautiful blue-green color. It's like a frozen world of mystery waiting for us to explore. This unique tilt means that instead of having seasons like Earth, Uranus experiences extreme variations in temperature and sunlight. Imagine having super long days and nights that last for years. Now, let's dive into the mysteries of Neptune, the ocean world. It's the eighth and farthest planet from the Sun, and it's a chilly, deep blue planet that seems to be covered in clouds and storms. Neptune is a giant, icy planet, and it's so far away that it takes almost 165 Earth years to go around the Sun once. That means if you ever visit, you'd have to pack lots of warm clothes. And now, it's time to put your cosmic knowledge to the test. Can you remember all the planets in order, just like we talked about today? Let's say them together. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Well, done if you got them all. As our cosmic adventure comes to an end, remember that our solar system is full of wonders waiting to be discovered. Keep looking up at the night sky and exploring the mysteries of the universe. Who knows what incredible things you might find out there. Thank you for joining us on this celestial journey. Until next time, keep exploring and dreaming big in the vastness of space.